Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 12, Lesson 2. I'm going to start off by going over the I Can objective. It says, I can solve a multi-step problems that include customary measurement conversions. And the learning objective is to convert measurement units to solve multi-step problems. And the prior learning is that students expressed customary units of length in a larger unit in terms of a smaller unit, students express customary units of liquid volume in a larger unit in terms of a smaller unit, and students express customary units of weight in a larger unit in terms of a smaller unit. All right, so we are going to be on page 301. Before I begin the lesson, make sure you have that little printout that I gave you from lesson one. If you missed it in lesson one, go back and I um, put this full screen so that you can grab it and have it right in front of you, just like I'm going to have it right in front of me. Um, on this first page on 301, we're going to be in that length section. And then on the next page, 302, we're going to be in the capacity sex section. All right, so let's go ahead and read number one. Step it out. It says, Ezra is building the bookcase shown. All the pieces of wood are the same width. He needs two pieces of wood for the sides. He needs three pieces of wood for the shelves in the top. So it says, what is the total length in yards of the wood Ezra needs to build the bookcase? So I notice this is the first thing that jumps out to me here is the in yards because I know that over here it gives me 24 inches and then three and a half feet. It also told me that I have two sides here and then a side one here, one here, and one here. Okay, so for A, it says write an equation to find out how many feet of wood Ezra needs for both sides. So for this, I know that one side is three and a half feet and there are two sides. So I am going to be just multiplying that three and a half by two. So three and a half times two. And if I did three and a half twice, that three times two would be six and the half times half would be one. Six plus one would be seven. So that would be seven feet here. For B, it says write an equation to find out how many yards of wood Ezra needs for both sides. Now we're putting it into yards. So using that piece of paper, um, I see the second one down. It says one yard equals three feet. So right now I have seven feet. So we need to figure out how do I get from seven feet into a term of yards. So if I have my seven feet, and there's three feet in a yard, I'm gonna be dividing by three. Another way to write this now that we are working with fractions is seven over three. And that way we can put it into a mixed number. So seven over three is the same thing. How many times does three go into seven? Twice with one left over and three being our denominator. So it would be two and one third. And again, that unit word that we're using is in yards. Okay, so for C, this is write an equation to find out how many inches of wood Ezra needs for the shelves and the top. So now we're doing those three levels going from um, left to right, not vertical anymore, horizontal. So I have 24 inches, and I know that there's three levels. So if I do 24 inches by those three levels, I'll find out how many total inches that'll be. Four times three is 12, and then carry the one. So three times two is six, plus that one is 72. And that, again, is in inches here. And then for D, we want to write two equations to find out how many yards of wood Ezra needs for the shelves in the top. First, convert the inches to the feet. So we found out it's 72 inches, but again, we're ending our problem in yards. So in order to do that, we want to go from inches to feet and then feet to yards. So if I have my 72 inches... I know to go from inches to feet, the top one in my length in this little piece of paper shows me that it's 12 inches in a foot. So I know that I need to divide by 12 to get me into feet. So I'm going to divide by 12 and 72 by 12, that is a math fact, is six. 
So that will give me six feet. Now I have six feet and I need to move into yards. So the next one down tells me again that one yard is three feet. So if I'm at six feet, I need to divide by three feet to get it into yards. And six divided by three is two. And that again is going to be in yards. So my total, so 72 inches is the same thing as two yards. All right, and then for E, it says write an equation to find out how many yards of wood Ezra, Ezra needs to build the bookcase. Well, in B, I know that the two sides were two and one third yards. And then we just found out that all three levels were two yards. So how many yards is that? Well, my whole number is two plus two is gonna be four, and then I can just tag on my one third. So four and one third yards total, so that when he goes to Home Depot or anything like that, he can just know how much total wood he needs in yards. All right, great, let's go ahead and flip the page to 302. I'm gonna go over these questions, and then I'm gonna see how we do on your own, and then we'll solve them together. All right, so for number two, it says Leanne needs 100 cups of lemonade for guests at a picnic. Each package of lemonade mix makes one gallon and costs $3. So how much will it cost Leanne to make enough lemonade? So she needs 100 cups, but we don't have cup measurements because the package, it's only in gallons. So it makes one gallon. We need to figure out how many gallons or what, how many cups one gallon makes. And then we got to talk about cost. So there's lots of steps here. So for A, it says, first, find the number of gallons of lemonade Leanne needs. That's how many gallons she needs to get 100 cups filled. Then we're going to convert the number of cups needed to a number of pints. So we're going to go from cups to pints. Then we're gonna go pints to quarts, and then we're gonna go quarts to gallons. So that's all the capacity um, in your little sheet, the second one under here, capacity. We're gonna be using all of those measurements right now. The three bullet points are just writing those problems down. So write an equation to find out how many pints of lemonade Leanne needs. So going from cups to pints in that first bullet point. The second bullet point is going from pints to quarts. And then the next, the third bullet point is going from quarts to gallons. Then in B, how many packages of lemonade does Leanne need to buy? So that's when we need to figure out how many gallons and then how many packages. Make sure if you have a part of a gallon, you still need a whole nother package to cover that part. And then for C, how much will it cost Leanne to make enough lemonade? So that's when the money, those the $3 per package per gallon comes in play. So how many packages did you say that she needed in B? And then multiply that by how much it costs for the total cost Leanne is gonna spend on this lemonade. All right, go ahead and try your best on this. Try not to get frustrated. This is brand new information. Just try your best and then we'll solve it together when you come back. All right, go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and solve this. So for A, it said write an equation to find out how many pints of lemonade. And using my sheet here, it says there are two cups for every one pint. So I'm gonna use that two cups and I'm gonna be dividing by two. So I'm starting out with my total 100 cups and I'm going to be dividing by two cups to get me into the pints. And 100 divided by two is 50 pints. Then I'm gonna go down to the next one and I'm gonna use that new 50 pints to start with. So I have 50 pints and this one is asking me to go into quarts. And I know that there's two pints for every one quart so I'm gonna be dividing by two again. So 50 pints divided by two pints is gonna move me into quarts. And 50 divided by 2 is going to be 25 quarts. Now I'm going to be starting off with that new 25 quarts. 
And I know that from quarts to gallons is actually four. So it's four quarts for every one gallon. So I'm going to be dividing by four quarts to move me into the gallons. And I know that 25 divided by four, mm, so close to being an even number, but not quite. I'm going to go ahead and write it as a fraction. So 25 over four and make it into a mixed number. So how many times does four go into 25? Well, four goes into 25 six times to get me 24. Then I just have one remainder, one left over, which is my numerator, keeping my denominator four. So six and one fourth, and that is going to be our gallons. All right, for B, it said, how many packages of lemonade does Leanne need to buy? So I know that my 100 cups is the same thing as six and one fourth gallons. The packages that cost that $3 make one gallon. And I know I need to make six and one fourth gallons. So how many packages do I need to buy? Well, six packages will cover my six gallons, but I also have that one fourth gallon, which means I need a whole nother pack to make sure I get that right amount. So I do need seven packages to go to the store and buy. And then it says explain. Well, I know that I can't buy one fourth of a package. So my six and one fourth needs total of seven. All right, last question. It says, how much will it cost Leanne to make enough lemonade? Well, I know that I need seven packages and they're each $3 and I got the information from up above. So how much will all of it cost if I have seven packages, $3 each? That will be a total of $21 for that 100 cups of lemonade for her guests at a picnic. All right, go ahead and finish up the rest of these problems and I'll see you back here for module 12, lesson three.